Today we're taking a closer look at another story out of Detroit, this time with Ford's Jim Farley, who is the president of Global Markets. Farley recently had an interview and he was asked about Ford's lack of a fully electric vehicle, and he responded with this quote. Our strategy is different. In a way, we had the advantage of watching what happened the first time around. We're going to unpack this quote and the rest of the interview a little bit more in today's story of the day. To me, this quote was really significant, and it's for one of two reasons, and I'm not totally sure which it is yet, but I'd like to hear your input on it as well. One, Farley could be right, and this quote could genuinely be Ford's strategy, to let the other manufacturers be the guinea pigs in the EV market and learn from their mistakes. Or two, this is simply Farley making up an excuse to explain away why Ford is so far behind in the electric vehicle marketplace and in the development of full EVs. But the reality is, regardless of Ford's intentions, they are without a doubt behind many other companies, especially companies of their size in the electric vehicle tech. And that's frankly a risk in today's market. Ford acknowledges that they need to introduce a full electric vehicle into the market and they have announced that they plan to in 2020. And this was part of the interview that Farley had. But this car is very much under wraps about this point and is at this point essentially just a concept. So there's a lot of development left but Farley did give us some details about the car. He says that the car will be Mustang inspired, and this is in an effort to give the consumer what they want based on their waiting to see what others did. Uh, he also expanded on this later to say that it's gonna be a utility vehicle that also goes fast. So certainly don't think this is gonna be a sports car or it's going to be directly an electric Mustang, but simply is trying to say it's going to be sporty. Uh, one other piece of information, he mentioned it will have a 300 plus mile range. So we can certainly speculate this means it's going to be larger than a sedan, certainly larger than a Mustang because it's going to be a utility vehicle. But we know it's supposed to be fast and have a 300 plus mile range. So it's likely going to be smaller than an Explorer or an Expedition or any other full size SUVs. So we're probably looking at something the size like an EcoSport or an Edge and I really hope that for Full electric vehicle is not based on the EcoSport. I don't think I can ever come around to the looks of that vehicle, but let me know what you guys think. But getting back to what Ford has announced and what we actually know about it, with a 300 plus mile range, being a utility vehicle form factor, and having a Mustang inspired driving character, uh, if Ford can actually pull off all three of these traits and produce a electric vehicle that has a reasonable price point, then it should really be a massive success, especially for their first offering in this segment. However, that's the issue. This is their first attempt. Well, yes, they have collected market data and they can collect this market data by waiting. They haven't developed the infrastructure or manufacturing practices that need to be perfected to reliably produce a vehicle like this at any sort of volume. So my concern is that they have quite a long and expensive learning curve ahead of them to be able to bring this product to market. And I think it's gonna be a very limited run at first. I don't think they're gonna have the facility to produce a lot of these. And if it's successful, they're going to adapt it and then they'll invest more money into making it widespread. So I think this is still a very slow rollout even though we're only a couple years away from when this first vehicle is supposed to land. So I know I'm probably a bit cynical on this issue and that's just kind of my stance point looking at the business side of this issue. But it's certainly gonna be fascinating a couple of years in the automotive industry as EVs are coming out and becoming way more popular. So I'm really interested to hear what you guys think about Ford's uh, move here in this quote and what you think of their positioning. Are they behind? Are they already too far behind? Or am I being overly cynical? Let me know what you guys think, but certainly gonna be an interesting couple of years. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, stay up to date uh, on all this news with great videos like this one. And we look forward to seeing you in the next story of the day.